Welcome, my name is Don and I'm here to talk about the Academy of Management Review Dialogues. You may have questions such as, what are dialogues and how are acceptance decisions made? Well, dialogues are short commentary pieces written on uh, full-length AMR manuscripts. You might think of them as being like opinion letters or letters to the editor that you might have had uh, in newspapers, if you still read newspapers. Uh, but they're more than that. The dialogues are more than that. Uh, our hope is that they're going to make a substantive contribution to that area of scholarship that the focal paper uh, was writing about. So, what do we mean when we say substantive contribution? Uh, we mean that the piece you're focusing on, uh, you know, you need to do more than just criticize that piece. You need to offer some constructive suggestions and improvements and directions uh, to address the limitations that you've identified in that, in that focal AMR piece. Okay, so what else is important about writing a dialogue? First of all, dialogue should be timely. Uh, they should come out uh, usually about three months is the length of time we're looking for. When an article is first published online, you have three months to think about it and get your review in. The reason we don't want it to go much past three months is other people have seen that uh, full-length article and may be writing reviews uh, and incorporating it in paper. So it's starting to get cited already. So we want your uh, responses to be very time sensitive, very contemporary. What else about a dialogue? We're looking for dialogues to be about five pages in length. And by that, I mean the text. It doesn't include tables and references. But another really important part of the dialogue process is you have to realize we get many more dialogues than we could ever hope to publish. Uh, and as a result, many good dialogues don't get published. Uh, we just don't have the space in the journal. Uh, it may uh, also be that uh, your dialogue was good, but there were a number of other dialogues written on the same paper, and we have to choose one from amongst a set of potential dialogues. Okay, so what, what is the process? You could sort of argue that there's a uh, two different processes for how a dialogue might be evaluated. The first one is if you're the only person who wrote on a paper, after that three month period, if you've submitted your dialogue, I then uh, make a decision about whether I think I know the area and I can make the decision on the dialogue. Uh, more often than not though, I send it out to one reviewer. It's not like a full length article where you might get three reviews, you get one review. If it's an area I don't know well, I send it out to a reviewer who does know the area well and their feedback is highly influential in any decision that I might make. Uh, what about if there are multiple dialogues? This is a little trickier. Uh, we sometimes have had as many as four dialogues written on the same paper. In this case, what I'm looking for is some consistency in the process. So what I try to do is identify a reviewer who's willing to look at all, you know, in one case, four of the dialogues. And that way I have a consistent evaluation. They provide me comments on each paper and they also provide me a rank ordering of the papers and how many, if any, are over the bar. In other words, is it good enough that it should be published in AMR? We could have four dialogues written and all four of them are great, they're over the bar. Maybe all four of them are not so great and they're, you know, we're not gonna publish any of them. That really depends on the opinions and expertise of the person who's reviewing that set of dialogues. Hopefully you've managed to navigate that process and your dialogue has been accepted. If so, congratulations, that's a big deal. Now what? Well, realize that after your dialogue is accepted, I then send it to the authors of the paper that you were commenting on and they are given the opportunity to write a response. Uh, a response is usually about the same length, uh, but the thing to remember is you know, you wrote the dialogue, they wrote the response, 
that's the end, okay? It doesn't keep going back and forth. Maybe their response to you raise new questions. You know, given how little space we have to publish dialogues, it's not likely I'm going to publish two or three dialogue and responses on the same article. So you get one bite at the apple, they get a response, and then we move on. If, you, if, if there are lots of other good ideas, maybe you can write a full-length AMR paper on that topic. That's the process. Uh, thank you and good luck. I look forward to uh, seeing uh, what dialogue uh, you write on papers that interest you in AMR. Thank you.